be another fucking restroom around here somewhere. restroom will be nice. These are out of order. Yes. This building's been having plumbing problems. But there's work and restroom upstairs. Just take this elevator here to the fourth floor and you shall find another. The fourth floor? And these hills? Okay. Thanks. No problem. Have a nice night. Fucking restroom up here. Shit. That motherfucking town. Got to be kidding me. Fuck it. Hello? Hello? be in jail.
get it together. <laughs> it is all in your head. Person up in the bathroom. You have nothing to worry about.
Okay, is there anything else you need me to do before I get off work? Uh, there are just a few more DVDs that need to be duplicated, but don't worry about it, I can do it. You sure? Yeah, I can do it, don't worry. Okay, cool. So what are your plans for tonight, Melissa? Well, I plan on going home, running me a long, relaxing bubble bath, you know, take away the stress from all this work. And then I plan on hitting up the club. That is, if Sierra's going on going with me. What? Girl, I told you I might have plans tonight. Plans like Chris? No, maybe just like staying in and relaxing at home for a change. I wonder who you'll be relaxing with. Hey, don't be a hater all your life. You just mad because you don't have a man. Boy, please, ain't nobody hating on you. And trust. I can get a man. I just choose not to have one at the moment. <laughs> Speaking of haters, anybody see Sasha? Yeah, she got off about an hour ago. I think she had a date or something. When doesn't that bitch have a date? Right. And affairs. That bitch goes through more men than linebackers on a football field. I'm telling you, she's a hoe. Does the name Marcus ring a bell? <laughs> Who's Marcus? Nobody. Y'all ain't even right. No, Sasha ain't right. Man, and the hating continues. I think you deserve an award for hater of the year. Can't you just live your own life? It ain't hating if you tell them the truth. True. And let's not forget superficial and sedity. I always thought she seemed nice. Yeah, nice and slutty. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, I'm out, everybody. Oh, and Cece, if you plan on going out tonight, let me know. Will do. All right, y'all. See ya. Bye. Hey, what's up, Melissa? Hey, Amari. Closing up already, or? Oh, no, I'm headed out, but my coworkers are still in there. If you still need to set something up? Yeah, most definitely. Thank right. you. I'm about to jet, but fill me in on it later. I will. See ya. All right. All right. Why you change your shirt? Spill some damn juice on the Clumsy. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's good with you all, Mark? What's up, man? You know me. I'm just down on top of my promo hustle. What about you? Man, just working here, hustling to get this overtime, baby, man. It's still crazy, man, but that's what's up, man. Keep it up. Hey, Toya, think you guys would be interested in collaborating with Hot 102.6 The Beat, or? Sure. What particular do you want done? Well, uh, we got some projects coming up. We might need some help with the web promo and some live events filmed soon, if possible. That sounds good, man. Just check with our boss, Janet, first and make sure she approved. Cool, cool. Is Janet in now or? She should be. Let me check to see if she's available to meet with you. Appreciate that so much. Come on, trying to catch you before you left. You just now getting here? Yeah, trying to sneak in before boss lady realizes I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that goes. Yeah, well I guess I'll walk back with you. I forgot my damn umbrella again. <laughs> you were always forgetting your umbrella. You think I'm playing? Next time I see you laying around, I'm gonna take it. Yeah, yeah. whatever. All right. But don't plan. Let me watch my door. All right, come on, ladies. You wanna talk? I don't even know why you trying to go there. <laughs>
seven o'clock. Like I just need to get in here because I am not trying to hear her mouth. Hey, <laughs> right, I'm gonna run some ladies one real quick. I'm gonna grab my umbrella in a minute. Okay. Late again, I see. Boy, hush. I had to take my sister over one of her friend's house. Otherwise, I would have been here on time. Mm-hmm. Sure. Hey, Toya. How you doing, girl? I'm doing good, Jen. Glad you finally decided to show up to work. You know, Janet's gonna flip when she finds out you were late. Girl, who said she was gonna find out? <laughs> I thought you were gone. Nah, not yet. Forgot my umbrella. <laughs> Now I know I lock these damn doors. Something doesn't feel right. Janet? Oh, hi, Miguel. Hi, you headed out for the night? <laughs> no, ma'am. Just taking a little snack break. Gotta keep my stomach from turning. Oh, over. yeah. Hey, can you come back here for just a minute? Thanks. Um, did you finish every task I assigned for you today? Yes, ma'am. I edited the Jay Holiday Project as you instructed, and I also assisted Toya with scheduling events for next week. Huh. Very good. Yes. You know, what about the others? Are they still in there, too? Only Sierra Christian, Natoya, and a new girl, Nicole, are still here. All Melissa right. and Sasha, they got off a while ago. Nonetheless, we're still hard at work as ever. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Um, one more thing. Can you not take so long of a break this time? You know, I just want to make sure you get a lot of stuff done before the weekend comes. That's, you know, you know how it goes, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, hurry along. Time is money. Come on, shoot, shoot. <laughs> Stupid bitch. Hello, everyone. Hey. Hi. Hello. How's everything going this evening? Pretty good. Hi. Well, I wanted to officially announce that we will be collaborating with 102.6 and assisting them with some of their live coverage and such. <laughs> Sounds good. I know. Now, I expect you all to complete these tasks in a very professional and, of course, a very timely manner. Now, does everyone understand what's required of them? Yes, ma'am. Yep. Oh, wonderful. Well, I'll be heading out shortly. Um, whoever's closing up, please do not forget to follow the checkout list I posted on the wall right there. <laughs> of course. Sure. Good. Oh, and uh, Nicole. Yes, ma'am. Everything going okay for you, hun? Yes, ma'am. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Run it back. <laughs> you don't have to call me ma'am. I'm not that much older than you. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, Janet. Everything is going great. You sure? Yes. 
Now listen, I know how scary and intimidating it can be with you starting this new job and everything like that. So, if there's something that you don't know or something you just don't even, you know, understand, please, don't hesitate to ask me or any of your co-workers, okay? Yes, Janet. Anything I didn't know or didn't understand, Chris and Miguel gladly assisted me. Hmm, as they should. <laughs> Now listen, I just really want to make sure you're as comfortable as possible in this work environment. You know, I know this is only your third day working here. I didn't want to put too much responsibility on you so soon. Don't really trust you that much yet, but you know, you know how it goes, right? <laughs> oh, I understand, but don't worry. I will follow that checklist to the T. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Whatever. All right, well, I'll be heading out. So whoever is uh, closing up, don't forget to follow the checkout list. We'll see you all bright and early on Monday morning, okay? Bye. 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 <laughs> yo, 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 it's your boy Amari holding it down for all the sexy people out there listening. Coming up next, put your rocks up because we got the new Kanye and Jay-Z. I know y'all can't wait for the new joint. Plus, it's the top eight at eight jam, so keep it tuned. This is Hot 102.6. The beat, baby. And we're out. Hey, Lisa, how we doing on time? All right, cool, cool. You know what? I was thinking we should change it up a little bit tonight. You know, maybe ask listeners to call in and air out their dirty lines you see because they come from their significant others. <laughs> so what you think about that, Lisa? Lisa. Lisa! Lisa, you there? bitch get on my nerves. Who you telling? Why you say that? Because she always coming in here trying to be super strict and super sarcastic. Man, I wish Mr. McKnight still worked in here. Me too. I saw him about three weeks ago. He ain't look too good. I swear that man had no hard times. Who are you two talking about? Marcus McKnight? The man that created Fresh Air Productions? He was the original CEO before Janet took over. Without him, this place would not be what it is today. And that's real talk. Okay, so then what happened to Link? Long story short, he lost his partnership with the investors of Fresh Air Productions because of a sexual assault claim made by one of his former employees. Once they found out, they pulled the plug, hired Janet. Then that shit got swept under the rug so fast, no one even knew what happened or who made the claim. All I know is I came into work one day, his office was cleaned out. For real? Yeah. We don't talk about that much, though. We keep that on the hush-hush in this building. I think he did it. You know, I never really liked that man. Okay, he couldn't have been all bad though, right? Not as bad as Janet, but he was still straight. Always reminding us that we could be replaced in a very sarcastic tone. Every five minutes. That man played too much, and now he got what's coming to him. Sierra, you just mad that Sasha got to him first. <laughs> Whatever, Miguel. Right. That's messed up. Yeah, it is. But no matter what his faults were, he still ran this place better than Janet ever will. Amen to that, brother.
Hey guys, we're about to head out. Are you staying? Yeah, but just for a little bit. I'm waiting on Chris to get back. Yeah, I gotta stay late and close tonight. Take that and we transfer to uh, that file over here. Hey, I mean, look at this text Melissa just sent. Says she found Sasha and she needs my help. Oh my God, do you think she's hurt? I don't know. Why haven't they called the police? I think we should go and check on her. Yeah, I'll go. No, I'll go. You stay here with Miguel. Hopefully, I see Chris on the way and I make his ass go with you. But if I need backup, I'm fine. Hope this girl ain't playing no games. Yeah, me either. I thought they were gone a while ago. No telling, I guess. Right. I shall return. You heading out, Janet? Oh, yeah. I'm headed home for some much needed rest. What about you? Where are you headed? Upstairs to the fourth floor to check on Sasha and Melissa. Wait a minute, they're still here? Yeah. I don't know what's going on, but I guess I'll soon find out. By the way, have you seen Chris? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Oh. No. I wonder where he is. No clue. <laughs> but uh, let me know if you find him and if Chris is okay. Of course. Okay, bye Sierra. See you later. Mm -hmm. oh, she never leave. God. Finally. Door I don't, I don't know. What's going on? 
Go lock the other door and I'll call the police. Wait, wait, wait. Just calm down a second and tell me what happened. Just do what I said, damn it. I think we should split up. We'll cover more ground that way. I don't think that's such a good idea. It'll be okay. If something happens, just go down to the office, lock the door. I'm gonna see if I can find help. Okay, just be careful, Miguel. I will. I'll meet you back at the office. Okay. Hello? Amari? Are you here? What are you talking about? I'm referring to a dead body I saw in the elevator when I attempted to leave work. What? A dead body? What the hell are you talking about, Janet? Okay, it doesn't take a genius to see that somebody is after us! Wait a minute. Where's everybody else at? Jennifer's still in the office. Sierra went upstairs to go find Melissa and Sasha. Me and Miguel just split up to cover some ground. I have no clue where Chris is. Okay. All right, let's take a breather real quick. All right, first we're gonna go to the office and find Jennifer, and then we're gonna go find the others. Okay. Come on, let's go. Come on. Get the fuck out of here! I 
tried that already. It seems like somebody <laughs> locked the door from the outside. What? We're trapped? It seems that way. Okay. Where's Toya? She's upstairs at the radio station. We gotta find her and get the fuck out of this place. this? I don't know. I think we should stay here. Wait, 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 wait,
were you at? I had an hour. I had to use the restroom, but the ones on this floor were out of order. So I went upstairs, and that's where I found the bodies. And I was so scared I hit in one of those stalls until I thought the clothes was clear. But now I'm here, and you're trying to drop a fucking screwdriver I my thought head. you were the fucking killer! Do I look like the killer I didn't you? fucking see you! Enough of this bullshit, guys! We still have to find Sierra, Miguel, and Twin! Get the fuck out of here! So I told Toya, if anything were to go wrong, she needs to go back to the office and hide. Miguel, I got a real bad feeling about this. Maybe we should go find another way and then send for help. Relax, CC. Everything's gonna be just fine. First, we'll devise a plan to find the others. Then that'll lead us to safety. Now, I heard about these tunnels underneath the building. All you gotta do is find the way. <laughs>
I know, I know. Do you think we're next? I hope not. Don't worry about it. Just, just come on. Miguel? 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 I don't know, but I found Toya. Where is she? I sent her to go look for help while I searched for you. I figured we could use as much help as we can get. Right. Oh, wait a minute, where's the call? She's dead. I found her body upstairs next to Sasha and Melissa. Oh my God. We gotta keep moving. We wanna get out of her life. We gotta go right now. Come on. Come on. Out of my sight. I'm gonna go check the doors. All right. Shit, this is my fault. This happened to you. Come on, come on. No, no, damn it! She's still alive. Alive. What happened to you? I got attacked by the killer, but I don't know where he went. Don't worry about that. All that matters is that you're alive. We get, get you up. Come on. Get out of here. Yeah, I think we know our way out of here. Let's go this way. Come on. I think we should go left. Uh, no, I think we should definitely go straight. That's the better bet. How about this? We split up and explore both options. No, no. We need to stay together. Look, don't worry. It's cool. Y'all go down that way, and I'm gonna run down this way. Whoever finds the exit first, we can meet back here and guide the others out. All right? Be safe. Don't worry about me. Y'all watch out for each other. Be safe. We're gonna make it out of here, all right?
calm down now. Uh, who's trying to kill you? I don't know, but all my employees are dead, and we're next in the chopping block. Can you get us out of here? Um, uh, sure thing. Uh, I got the keys to every door in this building. Now follow me. Come on. Where are we? I don't know. It looks like an auditorium of some sorts. That's exactly what it is. It's used by the various companies and organizations who rent this building. It's been unused and abandoned for years. It looks like it's recently been remodeled. You'll be safe here. <laughs> Are we? You know, for all we know, you could be the killer. You could be luring us into some little trap of some sorts. Where exactly have you been all night, huh? Miss, I can assure you that I'm no killer. I've been here Doing my job, cleaning and mopping these here floors. Oh. And you have the nerve to call me a killer? Sorry, she didn't mean it that way. We really appreciate your help. Really. Really. No problem. You two just stay put here. I'm gonna go check the hallway and make sure that it's clear. Okay. There's something really strange about that man. But do you think we're safe? I don't know. I just hope we just got out of this nightmare alive. Did you hear that? Hear what? I wouldn't do that if I were you! Nicole? I thought you were- What? Dead? <laughs> As you can see, things are not always what they appear to be. <laughs> what a twist, huh? <laughs> oh. <sighs> Faking my death was a way for me to go unnoticed and to make everyone else seem like a suspect. Why are you doing this? <laughs> That's a good question. Why don't we ask Janet? Janet? I have no idea what she's talking about. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, maybe the name Marcus McKnight will refresh your memory. What does he have to do with you? Hmm. Can't you see the family resemblance? I'm his daughter, Nicole McKnight. Mate. 
Knight. <laughs> I thought your last name was Wilson. It was my mother's maiden name. I took it when I applied to work here at Fresh Air. It helped me keep a um, low profile. <laughs> Why? Why all this? <sighs> my motive is just simply old fashioned revenge. You ruined my father's life, and now I'm here to ruin yours! Janet? What is she talking about? Yeah, Janet. <laughs> Can't got your tongue? Why don't you tell Cece here how this is all your fault and why you're the reason why my father lost everything! Janet. What's going on? She's right. I am. <laughs> I was the one who got Marcus fired. <laughs> When he worked here, I was just a supervisor. He was my boss. I was the best damn supervisor ever imagined. I showed up early for work. I stayed late hours. I didn't even do the shit Marcus was too lazy to do. But did I get the recognition I deserved? No! He just let me... He just... He didn't even bother to raise my salary as I asked him to! He just let me do all the work around here like I was a little bitch! So I got to thinking... Why well, settle for a raise when... You can be CEO, right? <laughs> I mean, it only made sense. It's like the opportunity just presented itself, you know? <sighs> what a long day. Tell me about it. Let's not talk about work. Let's just have some fun. Sounds like a good idea. The new equipment that was supposed to be coming in. There was a delay because there was an ice storm. <laughs> in May. Is that supposed to be a joke? In May. Because you were the only one laughing at it. Ice. So. An ice storm. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I thought we were going to let our hair down tonight, so it was just a little joke. Yeah, it, was, it, was kind of it was kind of funny. That was so funny. I mean, I'm working on it. You know, yeah, the, the whole humor thing's kind of got to, you know. It takes work. It takes work. It takes practice. You know. It'll be in tomorrow. Tomorrow, 8 a.m. sharp. I'll talk to them on the phone. Okay. Now, who's going to be here to sign for it, though? Are you going to trust them with the equipment? Why not? All right. Cece, just chill it out a little. We're just, just making sure the equipment is coming in. I think we can trust them. As long as we don't have too many tonight, you make a, wake up with a hangover or anything. No. no. Keep it classy. We got to drive. Right? You can handle it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, good, good. All right, man. We'll probably get a week. We can do one more. Take one a more. load off. We can Come do on. one more. Let's do, let's do one more. Right. Let's do one more. Yeah. Don't worry. I think I'll be having some fun tonight, though. Good. I promise. Good. I will. Good. Good. <laughs> what do you think of mine? I have a lot of fun. What are you guys doing after this? Believe me, I'm not thinking about a whole lot right now. Yeah, man, we're going to help you hook you up with a cab because you've been drinking all Good. Yeah. I, I appreciate it. I, I know I'm going to need one. <laughs> way my alcohol intake has been tonight. I just realized you have really big hands. Do I? Yeah. They're huge. Wait a minute, where's your ring at? Oh, no ring. Oh. The boss man doesn't have a ring. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I'm married. Oh. You remember that one afternoon we all went out for drinks? <laughs> well, I made sure Marcus had plenty. 
How about I let him finish this one for me? Wow, is this is this really happening? It's happening. This is what's happening. Yeah, today. and then I'll get I'll ask for another one. How about that? All right. Come on, drink it up. Come on, take it back. Come on, don't be scared of the glass. First off, Wait, I don't know. You gonna spill on your little tie? Come on. I don't know why this is even happening, but I will take care of this. I'll take care of it. I'm sure you can. Toast to alcohol. <laughs> Toast to alcohol. Oh. Yeah, I definitely gotta slow down. Wow. Oh, I thought you could handle it better than that. Come on. Boss, this is how bad things happen. This is how things happen. I'm trying to put the brakes on it, and then, of course, women involved pushing and pushing and pushing. The mind is a wonderful thing. No, oh, about to get me in trouble. You have no idea. So, after I afterwards, I followed him back to his office. Hey, Jan Janet. Yeah, you're still here. <laughs> I thought you were going home. Yeah, I was headed that way. Yeah? I thought you left. Didn't you say you were calling a cab or something? Um, just had to stop by to get my briefcase. Oh. Okay, so you're still here. <laughs> my head hurts really bad, so I was gonna, gonna head on home. Oh, really? I'm tired. We had a long long crazy night. I actually had a lot of fun. Yeah. We did have a good time. You drank a lot though, didn't you? We drank a lot. Janet, we, we drank a lot. We did drink a lot. You know what? I think you drank enough for the whole table, actually. You don't look like you feel very good. No, I'm not. concerned about you. My you just don't hurts. look like yourself. We drank a lot, Janet. We drank a we lot. We did. Probably, yeah. So with that being said, why are you going to go home right now? Probably rest that up. I have a really bad headache. Then why go on with a headache? My head just rest here. Really hurts. Ah, look, I'm just looking out for you. Mm-hmm. Just sit down. Was... That's all you got to do. You know what I mean? I was going home. You're gonna go home? Mm -hmm. Oh, go home to Hallie. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. She called. She did, huh? She called, so I was going. That's home. good. She can use the phone at least. <laughs> Poor guy, so out of it. He couldn't even fight me off. <laughs> you should sit down. That's why I was going home to take care of my head. Do you have any medicine or anything like that? I don't know. But it I was I was going home so I could take care of it. Oh. Yeah. You don't want Hallie to see that nasty headache, do you? Yep. Hallie, my wife, my wife Your Hallie. My wife Hallie. She, yeah, she's, she called and I let her know I was on my way back. Um, <laughs> it was so easy. But Don't I should good go get some sleep. Yeah. I should go, that's what I should do. That's what I should do is go get some sleep. Some sleep, some right? Some sleep, because my You can head... get some sleep or you can get some yes. other stuff, which is probably better than sleep, sleep right? Sleep is my cure for my headache. Yeah. Janet, if you're nasty. <laughs> Jackson, if you're nasty. <laughs> Jackson, if you And guess what? I'm in control. So, as I yeah, attempted to seduce him. What are, Janet, what are you doing here? What do you mean? What were you doing? Why are Why are we in my office here? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> so tired. 
You know what? I mm -hmm. really think you should do something about that headache of yours. Mm -hmm. That's why I was going. Because you work so hard. That's why I was going home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could sleep here. Mm -hmm. You want me to help you with your headache? Tired. Are you? You should probably go to sleep then. Janet, I don't. You don't think what? I don't think. Just having a little fun. <laughs> he just passed out without ever remembering what actually really happened. <laughs> mm. I think I can help you with your headache. Do you want me to help you? Janet, I don't. I don't. And he blacked out, <laughs> allowing me to put my plan into motion. So after he passed out, <laughs> I immediately ruffled my clothes. Removed an earring. Oh, and sprayed a little bit of his cologne on me. Oh, and then I, I immediately called security and... <sighs> I had him arrested. Oh, oh my God, I was just attacked! Oh, please help me! Oh my God, he's... He hurt me so bad! Please don't! Please! We're forced. Sexual assault. <laughs> Please hurry! He's still here! He's a, he's, Please hurry! Oh my god, I'm in so much pain! Please! Please bring anybody you can! Because I... Please! I'm in 106! Please come! Okay? He was immediately fired, and I got his position. <laughs> Since then, I've been doing things my way and answering to hmm, no one. And that's the way it's going to stay! You arrogant cat! <laughs> Not only did you cost my father his job, but everything he worked hard to keep. He lost his marriage, which destroyed our family, and any hopes of a positive reputation. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you ruined his life and didn't give two fucks about anyone but yourself. So I got to thinking too. What if 
I could inflict the same type of pain, the same horrid type of pain on you. <laughs> That's when I apply to work here at Fresh Air. So I could learn any and every little thing that could help me develop the most perfect revenge scheme. <laughs> By killing everyone? What do we all ever do to you? <laughs> you all were just merely expendable assets. A representation of the work that my father developed. And if he cannot be a part of the business that he developed from the ground up, then no one can. So, I destroyed everything and everyone who contributed to the success of Fresh Air. And now, you too. Are the remaining pieces of the puzzle. You know what, Nikki? I'm glad I did what I did. I don't even regret it for a minute. If I had to do it again, <laughs> guess what? I would. And I would enjoy every minute of it. Do you know why, Nikki? Cause I am no back burner bitch! No? You're kidnapped. You're a dead bitch. Who I am and what I did, I just can't let you. Bitch! <laughs> 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 wrong time. And now, you have to die. Not tonight, you psychopathic bitch! Now, my father will get the revenge that he has sought for all these years. Now, his soul will finally rest in peace. <laughs> Let's 
Do you need any help? Yes. Can you please tell me what the fiction books are? Yeah, they're just two rows over on your left. Thank you. You're welcome. production company like last year? Grandma, what happened? There was this maniac killed everybody on his entire staff. Seriously? Yeah, killed everybody and some of the people on the radio staff as well in the same building. That's crazy. I know, and I heard the police sitting here find his body. <sighs> Get the fuck out of here. Right? Well, you wanna go to our house? I do. <laughs> Chicken and waffle. You paying, right? Can I help you? I, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were someone else. I'm sorry. I just... Man, forget about it. Shit. I just had a nightmare. That's all. That must have been some kind of nightmare. I heard you screaming all the way in the other room. I thought somebody was trying to kill you or something. <laughs> yeah, that will be some dream. Speaking of nightmares, did you catch the news today? No. What happened? 
Oh, some girl got murdered in the library. They said she was putting away some books. Somebody snuck up behind her and stabbed her to death. I tell you, this world just keep getting crazy and crazier. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. Well, I'm headed out. If you need anything, just give me a call, okay? Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. In the lips like Panaka, pop ya, separate the weak from the hopsa. Lee as I reach in with speech, I'm the doctor. Your body's like Twitter and the killer's gonna follow it. Got your ass running on some day after tomorrow shit. Got them running like a track runner that's on a scholarship. The hollow tips are followers, they swallow your esophagus. Recognize where the weapon lies. There's a set of guys steady repping disrespectful lies. Got them like the letter I hit the neck and thigh. Wreck is high, disconnect his eyes. This is Tekken 5. When they try to lie, you will see the pride inside. Take his final slide as his life is on the vital side. See him try to hide when you see their idol die from the cyanide. They die, but now it's finalized. Here go. Slash, coming at your motherfucking back like slash. Coming at your motherfucking back like slash. Coming at your motherfucking back like slash. Coming at your motherfucking back slash. Coming at your motherfucking back like slash. Coming at your motherfucking back like slash. Coming at your motherfucking back like slash. Coming at your motherfucking back slash. Black hoodie switch blade with the black mask. Stab back stash cats bodies in a black bag. That stab feed the rotten corpse to the black cats. Blast at cats with the pound like a hat. Hashtag. Yeah, 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 shot the gibberish is ignorant, delivering, shivering, cold pain to your clitoris. Pussy, start the passion of the knife. I got the passion of the Christ. You can battle for your life, nigga. <laughs> I throw tantrums and land jump. My handgun claps like a band with a hand drum. Hand him a handgun, blam at his hand from a point blank range. Bang, bang, now we can him. This nigga can murder half of you Doing what he has to do up in the murder capital Grabbing, stabbing, and slapping you Sticking knives in the back of you Tactical murder magicals Leaving you on the avenue Nigga I'm on your trail About to raise some hell Following the smell It's fear and I can tell I can feel it from a mile away Since it through my scope I can smell that bitch up in you Way before we even spoke You should start running I'm bound to catch you Feed off your adrenaline When I do last thing is You'll be dressed up like a businessman Your shirt gon' look like ketchup You gonna need a stretcher I ain't tripping when you run Cause you gon' slip and I'ma catch you Just imagine this pressure Next to me swinging this gesture Cutting in every direction Like it's to hell with perfection oh, you thought I was playing? Look at this blood on my hand. Check my body for wounds. See, I ain't feeling no pain. So I ain't feeling no pain for no lame or no dame that I slain. They cross my path. They just ask for my reign. Cause I'm insane like a maniac. Gone inside my cranium. I see what's on your mind. I turn your dome into a stadium. You wonder if heaven real. You think you going to hell. You wonder if death was coming. I show you just how I feel. You worry about your friends. You thought you was about to make it. You thought you had me beat, but now you about to meet your maker Should keep running, 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 
I understand what you doing, but it don't matter at all. I always catch what I'm pursuing. You can't keep running. I understand what you doing, but it don't matter at all. I always catch what I'm pursuing. I'm on your trip. I know you scared, but I I know you there. I'm on you. I know you scared, but I I know you there. I'm on you. Can run if you want it. When I creep round that corner, I catch you. You a goner. You know that's just my persona. I'm on